Welcome and thank you for checking out our video. We would like to demonstrate to you how to assemble the am one for u drive base in the long configuration. Let's take a look at the tools needed to assemble this drive base, the parts that come in this kit, as well as some parts we're going to need to cut. For this particular build, we already have the gearboxes and wheel assemblies put together. To see how this is done, check out the on-screen annotations or see the links in the description on how to do these processes. Press an FR6ZZ bearing into the top hole and an FR8ZZ hex bearing into the bottom hole of the inside plate. The bearing flanges should be on the same side as the bottom flange to ensure that the bearings will stay secure in the plate. This should be a tight fit. You may need to use an arbor press for this step. If you don't have an arbor press, you can use a wood block and a small hammer. With the flanged edge of the plate facing towards the gearbox housing, attach this inner plate to one of the Toughbox mini gearboxes. Locating studs on the gearbox will help you align it. To secure the gearbox, we will use four number 1032 by 0.75 inch screws and four nylock nuts. If the output shaft is unable to be spun by hand, verify that the Toughbox has been assembled correctly. Using quarter 20 thread rolling screws, attach the cross brace extrusions to the ends of the inner plate. For this assembly, these extrusions should be cut down to 15.75 inches. Repeat steps 9 through 10 for the other inside plate and gearbox. Then attach this inside plate to the extrusions. Next, we will attach the 16 standoffs known as churros. You will notice in this video that the churros are in one location now and later in a different location. You can do this as well with your drive base, as one of the benefits to this drive base is the ability to customize. The easiest way to attach these churros is to hold the churros with a half inch wrench and tighten the thread rolling screws with a drill and 3 8 socket. If you have not done so already, you will need to assemble the SIM motor. We demonstrate how to do this in a different video, which you can navigate to by clicking the on-screen annotation or link in the description. Line up the assembled SIM motor to the mounting holes in the Toughbox Mini. Secure the motor to the Toughbox Mini housing using two number 1032 screws. These screws will have a little yellow patch on them. For step 17, place a center wheel assembly onto the Toughbox Mini output shaft with the 500EX hub facing the inner plate. In step 18, we place a white hex spacer onto the output shaft. The spacer is fully seated when only 3 8 of an inch sticks out of the pulley. Press an FR8ZZ hex bearing into the center hole of the outer plate. The bearing flange needs to be on the same side as the bottom flange of the plate. Before we can attach the outer plate, we need to add the belts. In step 20, add two of the 170 tooth timing belts around the center wheel. The 170 tooth belts are the larger belts that came in your am one for u kit. In step 21, attach the outer plate to the chassis by fitting the hex bearing over the Toughbox Mini output shaft. Holes on the outer plate will align with the eight churros you have already attached. Use the quarter 20 thread rolling screws to fasten the outer plate to the churros. Next, we can attach the wheels. On our drive base, the right side wheel has the pulley towards the gearbox. This means as we slide the four and a quarter inch bolt into the bolt hole, we will use the larger spacer first. Next, wrap the belt around the pulley with the pulley facing towards the gearbox. Slide the bolt 
through the wheel, hold the smaller spacer in place, and push the bolt through. Next, attach the 3 8 nylock nut onto the bolt threads. Use two 9 16 wrenches to tighten the bolt until there is no lateral movement of the wheel spacers. Be careful not to over tighten the bolt. To attach the next wheel, repeat steps 22 through 24, but reverse the order of placing spacers and flip the wheel so that the pulley is facing out. Repeat steps 17 through 24 to complete the other side of the AM1 for you. In step 25, you will need to cut down the 24.75 inch churros to 15.75 inches and then attach them to the drive base. Congratulations, you have successfully assembled the AM1 for you drive base in a long configuration. If you would like to increase the capabilities and functionality of your AM1 for you drive base or add upper mechanical components, visit andymark.com slash AM1 for you.